school year. All right, time now to look at our weather. Uh, Martin Laramore is joining us now. And boy, you see those temperatures coming up next week. Ooh. I know some people are going to be yeah. happy. They're going to get yeah. one last little piece of summer, but some people like myself, um, not so much. I'm not a fan, Terry. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. First, I want to talk about what's going on right now. Obviously, some of you are seeing some of that rain, some of it heavy, actually, in some areas. I'm going to show you some of the cameras in a little bit where we're getting some pretty heavy rainfall. Now, we're going to go zooming in a little bit further in toward Michiana. There's a little bit of a line of these showers kind of lingering out of Michiana. It's now making its way out of LaGrange County. It's gotten itself out of Warsaw as well. So this, this little, little first wave is going to be getting out. We're going to get a little closer to this one. So you can still see some of these lightning bolts coming in from Warsaw. Rochester, Winnemac, but again, making its way out of Michigan. But of course, we're looking at another one over toward Michigan City. Got a couple lightning bolts and pretty heavier rainfall. Here's Michigan City right here. Yeah, safe to say you guys are seeing some good amounts of rain right now for this afternoon. It's going to be this way for a little bit. We're going to be seeing these showers kind of lingering for most of our afternoon. The rest of your cameras, again, looking at mainly just very cloudy skies. And even when the rain does stop, it's still going to be quite cloudy in the next several days. It's going to keep our temperatures quite cool. We'll be staying in the low 70s for tomorrow, getting the Wednesday and Thursday still below average, but as Terry was kind of alluding to, yeah, those temperatures are going to be going up. I'll tell you more about that in 10 day forecast, but the rest of our night, those temperatures will be getting on the cool side and only into the 60s. Thanks to the cl uh, very cloudy skies we're going to be expecting showers and thunderstorms kind of rolling through. We could see them turning to more showers as we're waking up on that Tuesday morning. So heading off to school, heading off to work, it will be pretty soggy. Make sure to grab that umbrella or that raincoat as you're going to be going off to school for your Tuesday. May we go looking at that future track. You've seen the large scale counterclockwise motion in this low pressure system as it passes us over. We're going to get rid of the thunderstorms. It's going to see just mainly a handful of these little showers as we get into that Tuesday morning. Still watching them pretty closely, not expecting anything really to come of it, including how much rain we're expecting. Not all too much, mainly upwards to about a half to a three quarter inch. Not looking at any kind of heavy downpours for a lingering uh, for a good majority of our both today and tonight and even into your tomorrow. Luckily, by the time we get into that Tuesday afternoon, we'll start seeing these clouds finally getting out of our area and with the clear skies. It's going to be pretty cool as we get into that Wednesday morning. Now, now the cool is something that's not going to be sticking around for all too long. While we're sitting in this trough right here, that's going to keep us cool for the first part of our work week. High pressure out toward the west is going to make its way into the eastern portion of the U.S. Going to be keeping not just Michiana, but for a good majority of the eastern U.S. on the warm side. This high pressure, this heat dome effect really going to be settling in across most of our region. And it's not really going to be going anywhere for the next several days. As you look at that 10-day forecast, you're going to see temperatures at or below average for the first half of your work week. We'll be staying near average by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Things will be getting pretty toasty as we get into our weekend, though. So, uh, Terry, I would say beach forecast is what I'm looking at because, well, the thing